the top of Biff's cane. I mean, all Biff from the future. Correct. It was in the time machine because Biff was in the time machine with the sports overnight. Holy shit. You see, while we were in the future, Biff got the sports book, stole the time machine, went back in time, and gave the book to himself at some point in the past. Look. <laughs> it says right here that Biff made his first million betting on a horse race in 1958. He wasn't just lucky, he knew, because he had all the race results in the sports almanac. That's how he made his entire fortune. Look in his pocket with a magnifying glass. The almanac. Son of a bitch stole my idea. He must have been listening when I... It's my fault. The whole thing is my fault if I hadn't bought that damn book. None of this would ever happen. Well, that's all in the past. You mean the future? Whatever. It demonstrates precisely how time travel can be misused and why the time machine must be destroyed. After we straighten all of this out. Right, so we go back to the future and we stop it from stealing the time machine. We can't because if we travel into the future from this point in time, it will be the future of this reality in which Biff is corrupt and powerful and married to your mother and in which this has happened to me. No. Our only chance to repair the present is in the past at the point where the timeline skewed into this tangent. In order to put the universe back as we remember it, and get back to our reality. We have to find out the exact date and the specific circumstances of how, where, and when young Biff got his hands on that sports almanac. I'll ask him. over, Biff. Sorry, ladies. How'd you get past my security downstairs? It's a little matter we need to talk about. You have money, right? Well, forget it. No. Not money. Gray's Sports Almanac. You heard him, girls. Party's over. Start talking, kid. What else do you know about that book? First, you tell me how you got it. How, where, and when. All right. Take a seat. Sit down! November 12th, 1955, that was when. November 12th, 1955, that was the date I went back. That was the date of the famous Hill Valley lightning storm. You know your history? Very good. I'll never forget that Saturday. I just picked my car up from the shop because I'd rolled it in a drag race a few days earlier. I thought you crashed into a manure truck. How do you know about that? My father told me about it. Your father? Before he died. Oh, yeah, right. So there it was, minding my own business. This crazy old codger with a cane shows up. He says he's my distant relative. I don't see any resemblance. So he says, how would you like to be rich? So I say, sure. So he lays this book on me. He says, this book will tell me the outcome of every sporting event till the end of the century. All I have to do is bet on the winner, and I'll never lose. So I say, what's the catch? 
He says, no catch. Just keep it a secret. After that, he disappeared. I never saw him again. <laughs>